Hey boo, hey, welcome to another message here with me, Duchess. I am excited to be bringing you exactly what you need to hear right now. Please remember, this is a general collective reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind, and it's definitely timeless, so whenever you run into it, there definitely could be messages here for you. And of course, I just want to say here, get away with me. Travel with me, explore with me, and meet me in Orlando, Florida for a three-day weekend retreat. We're going to have a hell of a good time. We are meditating, manifesting. We are healing. One-on-one -on -one tarot readings with me, of course. We're having a dance party. We're eating good food. We're staying in a resort home. It's going to be the time of your life. So definitely check out those details so we can hang out. All right. Now let's see here what the message is, what you need to know. So we got here the awakening card. I'm going to pull three of these before I start running my mouth. What else we got? What else we got? We got here the detachment card. Oh, okay. What else we got? What else we got? We got here freedom. I love it. So I hear here that you are going through a deep spiritual awakening right now. And part of that spiritual awakening for you is to finally feel free, to finally feel like you're not confined, like you're not bound, like you're not focused on what's holding you back or what has created resistance in your life but you have this air of just feeling like you're floating on the air you're feeling at peace you're feeling very serene right and it says here i no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good release me from its bond so you are free here from anything in your past that has been holding you back stressing you out coming as some sort of baggage bondage energy here in your life and you're stepping into an energy of being more detached and when you're detached here it's like you just allow energy to flow it says here with detachment you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire right ironically that's often when it's fulfilled so it's like you're you're learning to just allow things to happen even when things are not exactly the way you want them to or exactly panning out the way you envisioned right you're okay with that you're detached you're trusting you're believing you're moving forward and so with this energy here it's like spirit is saying you're on the right track because this has brought you freedom this has brought you a sense of now allowing the blessings to actually flow into you Awakening. Oh, my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. So, yes, you are going through this major awakening here where you are following your instincts here to detach. Where you're using common sense here to detach from negative patterns, negative people, negative things, anything here that takes away your freedom, right? So this could be a detachment from a, a job that's always constantly on your back, calling you, making you stress worried. It's like, I'm freeing myself from this nonsense, not doing it anymore. Okay. If this is a toxic connection, whether it's romantic or non-romantic, because toxic connections come in every way. I've experienced them all. Hey, sometimes we need to detach so we could be free, lay that heavy burden down. Okay. So, so there's could be these negative thoughts, thought processes, right, that keep you bound here and feeling like you're trapped. But it's like you're going through the spiritual awakening and all of that is being released here. You're finding your center. You're finding your peace. Give us more here for the collective. We got a six of cups. We got here a seven of swords. Okay. We got here a nine of swords. Mm. And a judgment. So, Spirit is saying here that this time it's very crucial as you go through this awakening to practice being in this new free energy. Okay. There's going to be some temptations along the way here that could draw you back into negative thought processes, negative energies, negative attachments that take you off of this spiritual awakening. So it's like, yes, you're going through an awakening, but then there's this warning coming with it here. It's like, you don't want to, 
it's like I don't know what's the right words for it. Like it's almost like that energy of don't forget where you came from. Like don't forget that you're in the middle of an awakening. So there's this element of like practice, right? Practice makes perfect. Like you have to actually try at this. You you know what you're detaching from, right? You know that you're detaching, but there's something in your heart that still feels a calling towards it or that still feels a comfort towards certain things that aren't really good for you. And so, of course, that's a seven of swords and that leads to a nine of swords being in your head, overthinking, overstressing. So there's this element here of practicing. Practice makes perfect here. Making sure that you remember, hey, I'm in control here. I love it. Queen of Swords, okay? I'm in control here. I'm thinking logically here. I know here in order to make sure I'm not bound that I have to do certain things. I have to detach from an outcome. So, for instance, again, we're going to go to the crappy job. If you know that you really need to quit and you start job hunting, but as soon as, you know, somebody's nice at work for five minutes, that's the attachment. Oh, they might change. Once you detach, you know, oh, they're not changing at the end of the day. And I'm not going to sit here and keep stressing and going in the same cycle with them because this is already cycle five, cycle six, cycle seven, cycle eight. It's like you're realizing that nothing's really changing. So this is you being told it's a time to be very logical here and be very distinct and very decisive here about your your level of detachment when it comes to things that are very toxic. We got here the king of swords. The three of wands, the five of cups, and the seven of pentacles. I'm hearing here for some of you, there's been something that you've been waiting for for a very long time to happen or that you've been desiring to happen. It feels like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And so there's something here where you're being told to balance your energy, your masculine feminine energies, find a balance within here um, to continue to have patience and not feel sad through this waiting period. It's like you need to detach from something that's requiring patience right now is what I'm getting for some of you. Yes, it's a time of focusing more on following your intuitive knowings. Allowing ending and new beginnings to transpire in your life. Mm -hmm. And there is a major focus here on your future and what you can build and how you can grow and what you can manifest here for yourself. But there is a level of detachment that's needed. So there is something that you really desire or you want to have, but the attachment is what creates the baggage, the pressure, the stress, the blockages. As you detach... You're now free to follow your intuition and make the right moves. Okay, tell us more here. Tell us more. We got an eight of wands. We got a queen of cups. Justice. Yeah, see, I'm being told here that as soon as you focus more on tapping into your intuition and trusting your intuitive knowing here, which comes from a place of being detached because that's just trusting what you don't know, right? What you can't really see. It's just a knowing. It's a feeling. It's an inkling, right? It's like once you get in that mode, you're quickly moving towards balance. You're quickly moving towards justice here. You're quickly moving towards things working out here in your favor, but you have to get into that mode being very balanced, being very much um, in tune with your intuition, being very much attached to the out, I mean, detached, not attached, detached from the outcome of things and doing things from a sense of peace, freedom, set free, no bondage, release. Yes, a page of cups. The Hierophant. Through this awakening, there's you are growing and learning a lot a lot. And so I'm hearing be mindful. Again, keep balance here through this because you're detaching from things that are going to completely change your life and change your world. And you're focused more on being in your intuitive knowing, and this is going to create a complete 180 in your life. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow all of that helps times a million. I would love to see you in Orlando to hang out for the retreat. Donation stars always greatly appreciate it. Check out my website for reading goodies. I'll be talking to you later. Bye.